Hey, hello students. Now I have a new topic for you. And this is regarding to the wheels or tires that you use in your car, okay? So the topic is changing tires, okay? The tires of the wheel that you use in your car. Okay, first uh, let me tell you that there are some uh, values that you have in your tire and when you see the numbers and letters that you have in your tire you can see something like this you can see a letter followed by numbers slash numbers letter and then another number okay so in this case, I have the model P24570R16. Okay, so what do they mean in the first place? What do they mean? Okay, I will uh, make a picture or drawing of a tire of any regular car. So let me do this for you. So let's suppose that we have this this tire with its rim, okay? And then I will I will draw the same thing, but uh, like if you're looking from the other side, so I will make the projection for this, for this circle, and it will appear to be like this, okay? So this is the tire of your car when you look it from the other side and if I follow these lines I will see that the rim will be located right here okay so if I have the rim right here and I have all the pneumatic or tire in, in that rim mounted or solid in that rim let's see how these numbers can fit in here okay so the first thing is or the or the main objective for this is to find several things that we need from that uh, from that uh, uh, tire and then I will let you know that the first place we have height right here and we have another height right here that height represents what is on top of the rim of the tip of the rim to the upper side of your tire and the same applies in in this part okay from this part of the rim to the floor okay so that that length represents the height okay now as you can no, as you can see, we have the rim right here. This circle is the rim. So this is the diameter of the rim, okay? If I go to this side, well, I will have the height of the tire, the side of the tire, and I have another height, which is down. So in total, you have two heights per tire. Plus, from this point to this point, you have the diameter of the ring. Okay? So you have the diameter of the ring. Okay, please make the drawing, take notes of, of this drawing and the parts of the tire because you will need it. Okay, also, what do we have? So we have the ring diameter, okay, the width. So we have another thing which is the width of the tire when you see the tire from the other side okay not in front but in the other side okay so what can we do or what can we get with this and this model okay the first thing is that we have information that is implied in this model okay and we are going to put that information in this example okay the first thing I have the width 
which is expressed in millimeters, okay? We have also the aspect ratio, which is expressed as a percent. We have the height expressed in inches. We have the diameter expressed in inches too. And then we have the circumference. And this circumference should be expressed in inches too. Okay, so what can we get from the model and what can we calculate from the information that is implied in the model of the tire that we're working with? Okay, so I have this model and the first thing that I have is this number, which is 245. So in millimeters, I have 245 millimeters, okay? Now, please keep in mind that this, uh, I mean, most of the things that we're working are expressed in inches. So one thing is millimeters and other thing is inches. So one thing that can be done immediately is to make to make a conversion okay we need to convert we need to convert first we need to convert first this to millimeters okay i mean to inch so how what can we do okay first if you have this you have the aspect ratio and you have the height we need to get this height also, okay? So let's convert. So if I have 245, and if I divide by 20, 25.4, okay? 25.4 is the millimeters that you have per inch. So I'm gonna write this if you have one inch, you have 25.4 millimeters, okay? So if you have 245 millimeters and this is the amount per inch, the division will show the answer but in inches. Okay, I'm gonna grab the calculator and divide 245 divided by 25.4 and it gives me 9.64 inches okay the plural for inch all right now i have this information okay by the way the aspect ratio is 70 percent which is in decimal 0 0.70 we need this number okay and then we have also nine point sixty four inches for the width. Now the aspect ratio in the case of a tire is different than the aspect ratio of a rectangular shape. Okay. Now how do we get the aspect ratio of this? All right. So the aspect ratio is height divided by width, not the opposite, okay? So the aspect ratio in this case is 0 0.70, 0 0.70, okay, equals height divided by width, and the width is 9.64, 9.64, okay? So height divided by 9.64, equals 0 0.70 and h or height will be 0 0.70 times 9.64 okay now i will grab the calculator 0 0.70 times 9.64 and then we have six points 
0.74 inches. This is the value that I have for the height, 6.74, all right, inches. Okay, for the diameter, the diameter is very easy, okay? The diameter is actually here, is the R16, that means the diameter of the rim. This R stands for rim. Okay, so the diameter is 16 inches, okay? This is for the rim, okay? But the big diameter is from tip to tip. I would call this the big diameter, which includes the tire and the rim. So if that diameter is 16 inches, I need to add this height and this height. So it's plus 6.74, okay, I'm gonna add, make the addition here, is the big diameter equals the small diameter plus two times the height, because you have one height here and another here. Okay, the big diameter will be 16 plus two times 6.74, 6.74. So the big diameter is 16 plus times two, 6.74 times two, 13.48 plus 16 is 29.48 inches okay so I have 29.48 inches for the diameter and when I say the big diameter I refer to the hole from here to here because from here to here is just the diameter of the rim but when I say from here to here or from here to here I am referring to the full diameter of the of the tire okay all right, but for the circumference, what do we have? Okay, remember, the circumference can be calculated when you multiply the diameter times pi. Okay, so if I have 29.48 times 3.14, The circumference should be 92.56 inch, inches, okay? All right, so this is for the tire.